Officer Nick Perez, aka Nick Off Duty, who lives at 475 Southwest 11 Place, Miami, Florida, 33128. How did you get that information? I keep all my information private, and I even went on that little state thingy where I can hide my address. <laughs> I'm the big bad wolf. I huff and I puff and I know everything. <laughs> Seriously? No, but I do have ways of searching you. Right now, data brokers are exposing your personal information on websites right now. So things like your personal information, your family information, your address, is all there for the taking. <laughs> Wait, so all my personal information are on these people's search sites? Yep, and you're not the only one. It's happening to officers all around the nation. <laughs> Seems like I'm gonna have to go to officerprivacy.com. They help remove all your private information to help keep you and your family safe from big bad wolves like this. Yeah, and the officer-owned and staffed company has helped thousands of officers already around the nation. <laughs> Thanks, big bad wolf. Officerprivacy.com has two offers. One, you let the officer privacy team find that information and delete it from the internet for you. Or two, you can use their custom software to find that information and delete it yourself. So go to officerprivacy.com and sign up today. Just click the link in my video description to get started. Now let's get back to the video. I smell I City fam, sup, 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 sup. All right, sorry guys, I'm over here tonight. Sorry, but my heart, but my heart is here. Traitor. Traitor. Welcome back to another episode of Police Vlogs. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm your host, Nick Off Duty. As the name insinuates, sometimes I'm on duty. Tons of different content here on this channel. We have a police car series where we go around the nation checking out different rides that police agencies have. We also have this series here, which you're watching, called Police Vlogs. In Police Vlogs, we go around different agencies around the nation and check out different units and how these police departments operate. It's a great opportunity for police departments to showcase their awesomeness, as well as an opportunity for you guys to check out what they're doing and maybe even apply. So with that, we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. Enough of the chitter chat. Let's get to this episode with the Florida Highway Patrol Criminal Interdiction Unit. In five, four, Three. Today we're going to be riding with Florida Higher Patrol and the Criminal Interdiction Unit once more. We've got Trooper Alvarez here. What's up, bro? What's up, man? And uh, we're going to be doing a couple things tonight, yes? Today we're doing a multi-agency task force in Miami. And we also will be working with BSO BAT uh, later on tonight. The one in Miami is supposed to be Miami-Dade County. Uh, city of Miami, my home team there. Absolutely. And us out there. Yep. I know a little bit about this detail. Focused on getting together, proactively patrolling certain areas for street takeovers. You know, that's a that's a big thing. Uh, there's zero tolerance here in Miami-Dade County. And now you guys involved, um, working together, all as one force to help combat these street takeovers and this reckless drivers out there, right? That's right. 
Those uh, individuals responsible for doing the street takeovers have a uh, disregard for the safety of the motoring public. So we're going to be proactively out there uh, looking for uh, street takeovers and other infractions and things. Uh, but we're also headed up to BSO, I think you said? Absolutely. We're heading up to Broward uh, with BSO BAT. Mm -hmm. What's the BAT stand for? Uh, burglary Apprehension Team. Okay. They're a really proactive unit and we work closely with them. Should be an active episode, guys. Stay tuned. Our FHP is always a fan favorite here on the channel. So, with that being said, let's get into it. So the Miami-Dade County Police Department RID unit or the Robbery Intervention Detail has an eyeball on a subject that is wanted. Now the RID unit patrols an unmarked car so more than likely they're undetected and that suspect is unknowing that they're watching them. Stage a couple of blocks nearby is FHP and their marked units. They're just awaiting the word from the undercover RID units. Hey, it's time to take down these subjects. So the takedown goes smoothly. The offender sees that he's boxed in. He gives up without incident. On the east side of the airport, that way if they jump the fence, we can get him on the, uh, on the outside. But he's going to go to, actually, he's going to go to Langley. All right, that's on the connector. He's coming out to the connector. That was inside. Here he is. As the offender was leaving the location, they noticed that a white Camaro was along with them. That white Camaro had a yellow towel wrapped around the tag to obscure it so no one can get it. In the process of the takedown, they noticed a white Camaro did a U-turn and sped off. Officers attempted to catch up and do a traffic stop. The white Camaro refused to stop, and here we go. Uh, got raised by Miami-Dade County. Right. Uh, they had eyes on a subject. They had multiple PC took for arrest. The subject became mobile. We uh, conducted a traffic stop on the vehicle and the subject was taken into custody with no incident. Subsequently, we observed a white Camaro with a yellow rag covering the entire tag. We attempted a traffic stop on the white Camaro. The white Camaro fled. It was a short pursuit with the assistance with, uh, from Miami-Dade Aviation. 
we were able to follow it to a Walmart parking lot where we got the subject in custody. Excellent driving. Thank you. That's all right. Up in Broward County now. We linked up with BSO Bat Team and they have a subject that they're watching with multiple felony warrants. One of their high priority guys and they requested us to provide assistance. And then what's kind of your guys' role in, in, in some situation like this? When the car goes mobile, uh, our role is to try to do a traffic stop on it. Okay. And uh, apprehend the subject. Right there. All right, so we got the vehicle. Tell us what happened. The vehicle became mobile. Uh, subject was in the vehicle. Uh, they advised, BSO advised us on the radio that the vehicle was coming out to us. We conducted a traffic stop. The subject was taken into custody with no incident. It's the way we prefer it. However, we were prepared for the alternative. Uh, with that being said, our job is done here and we're on to the next. Let's go. So I hear a couple days ago, you guys had a little incident. Matter of fact, it was with BSO, right? Yep. They called us to assist. Uh, they had a vehicle that was uh, stolen and we attempted a traffic stop on the vehicle. He took off, uh, he refused to stop. We conducted a pit and it was a successful pit. Right. Uh, the subject bailed out and started running on foot. Uh, canine was deployed and he was apprehended shortly after. Was it canine Conan? No, actually it was a canine gunner. Ah, uh, all right. Southbound on 10. 10th half. Westbound. Westbound on 83rd Street. It's like a black BMW. 809, I got one refusing to stop. One refusing to stop, 809. North on 12. North on 12. North on 12. Got a black BMW, signal 12, refusing to stop. Oh. East on 86. 8 8. East on 88. From 12. Eastbound on 88 from 12. No outlet, no outlet, no outlet. Hey, no outlet, dead end, dead end, he's dead end. Same. Watch the bill out. There it is, there it is. White male. Hey, I'm 
I'm after you at I-95. Bailout, bailout. Bailout, I got two in the water. I got two in the water. I got bailout, two in the water. Two Hispanic males. Two Hispanic males. I need aviation. In Cobb, Miami, Dade County, aviation, come overhead. They're swimming towards the house. Northwest 9 and 89. They just ran across Northwest 9 and 89. They signal forward. Hey guys, if you want to come right here where I'm at, I've got shoes and jeans right here. So these guys are so desperate to get away that they're willing to jump into that dark canal without knowing what's underneath. So as Trooper Alvarez approaches that fence line, he's now presented with a couple challenges. You may have noticed throughout the video that Trooper Alvarez is a canine officer. However, he cannot deploy the dogs because of the canal. It's dangerous for both the pup and the individuals that are in the canal. He's definitely not jumping into the canal after those two subjects with all that gear on. Also, tasing somebody around the body of water, incapacitating them where they can't move, that's also a recipe for disaster. At this moment, there's no option for deadly force. So what you can do is use the handy dandy radio as he does here. This location where we're at was no man's land. Bad radio signal, dead end, one way in, one way out. And in order to get to the other side of the canal, you had to drive about a mile and a half. For the officer, probably the worst spot to be in. For these two knuckleheads that jumped into the water, they probably couldn't have chose a better spot to bail out. Situation like this, you give the bolo, set the perimeter, and you let your guys work. Temple, they're gonna be north of that house, that blue house that you guys came out of, that's, they ran through that house. Both of them, one on each side. And they ran north, they kept running north. And back to 809, is the black BMW secured or can you advise? Black BMW is secured, I'm, I have it. Also 65, the paper tag. Go ahead with that. Delta, November, November, reference this vehicle. What uh, registered owner is 1020, please? 1727. Change the signal 4 to a signal 3. <laughs> And made it right here, and when we saw a dead end, Yo. they had already crashed. Where? Under. Got that Tango Kilo Tango zero nine six four five. What's the make? So sometimes in police work, the odds are against you. You got a lot of things working against you and the offender or offenders might get away. However, there's still plenty of time for an investigation. They have the vehicle that's linked to an owner. They have a whole bunch of personal items that they found inside the vehicle. And on top of that, they put what's called a vehicle hold on the car. So sometimes your vehicle gets towed to the tow yard and all you have to do is go down to the tow yard sign your name and the tow truck company will release it to you. If there's a vehicle hold on the car, you won't be able to get that vehicle out of the tow yard unless an officer who put the hold on signs off on it. So what happens is I bail out one day, try to get my car the next, I can't get it unless I confront the officer that I just ran from. So it's only a matter of time before he gets those matching bracelets. I never, bro, I never in my life, I live in Miami all my life, right? in this place, this, it's unbelievable, bro. I got lost like three times. I had to call the office and say, hey, yo, you, you know what? You sure this is where they're at? Yeah, man. I, I went around and I was in the alley. I was like, okay, which alley is this? I'm backing up. We had a black BMW take the red light at uh, Northwest 81st Street, westbound, right at the exit 295. Uh, as I attempted to uh, conduct a traffic stop, the vehicle fled. A short pursuit was uh, initiated. Uh, we came to uh, this cul-de-sac where I observed the vehicle come to a final stop against this palm tree. Both subjects bailed out and uh, jumped the fence 
into a canal. I was not able to deploy my canine due to safety, obviously, yeah. from the canal. A perimeter was uh, established. Uh, unfortunately, there was a little time delay between the perimeter that was established and aviation that came up. We did do a search of the vehicle. Yeah. Uh, we found narcotics, firearms, and a large amount of money. We will be doing a follow-up investigation on it. Uh, both subjects left uh, their belongings in the vehicle. Yeah. And we'll conduct an investigation at a later time. As we're getting off one of the highways to make a U-turn and go back the other direction, we notice a blacked out Nissan Maxima driving in the side streets. Drivers need to be Blacked out. Okay. I got a car blacked out at the end of the block. We're southbound on uh, 19. Southbound on 19. Stop sign. There you go. Where are you guys at? Bravo Lima 7. Take it off. Take it off. North on 17 Ave from 163. North on 17 Ave from 163. North on 17 Ave from 163. Somebody cut it off. Bravo Lima Zulu. Oh. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Get out! Get out! Get out of the car! Get out! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Get out! Let me see your hands! Levy, you're gonna get beat! You're gonna get beat by the dog! On the ground! On the ground! On the ground! On the ground! Clear the car! Clear the car! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! So it's obvious that the driver attempts to flee and elude Trooper Alvarez as he tries to attempt the traffic stop. At one point, he loses control, vehicle crashes into the wall, all airbags deployed. The offender tends to open his door, maybe to bail out, maybe to shoot a gun. We don't know at this point. All we know is that this guy doesn't want to be stopped by the police. So any reasonable officer, and I would say any officer, would come out with their guns drawn and attempt a felony stop. As you see, the troopers attempted to clear the car, but were having trouble due to the airbags covering the windows and acting like a curtain system. The troopers were working together as one unit, one covering the car, one covering the subject that was on the ground. They deemed the car safe, one subject in custody, and all I can say is, hell of a job, boys. I got behind the vehicle, uh, he had his lights off, uh, I attempted to conduct a traffic stop, the vehicle fled, um, a short pursuit was initiated, the, vehicle the driver attempted to take evasive maneuvers around traffic, colliding into a concrete uh, median, uh, which disabled his tires, the vehicle continued to travel with the disabled tires, colliding into the concrete barrier wall, um, where it came to an end. We were able to conduct a felony stop on the vehicle at that time and take the driver out. Uh, the driver was taken into custody. We searched the vehicle. Uh, we located uh, 1.5 grams of suspect cocaine and about four pills of oxycodone. Did he say why he fled? He said that uh, it was a bad decision in his part, All which right. obviously it was. Yep. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have more content coming up. Coming up next, we have Miami Gardens PD, where we go out on a traffic blitz. If it's moving and it's wrong, ticket it.
any complaints, give me a call, but we are not going to come to scene for everybody who's mad about their car getting towed. If you ain't riding dirty, it won't get towed. It's that simple. Police vlogs continues, police cards continues, and we have some cool police content also coming out in the near future. So make sure you subscribe. Let me know down below if there's any agencies you want me to cover. And I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, well then I'll see you. Try to catch me howling at the moon.